Okay guys, we're at our new location. So today where we're at, we're at the old Chris Tavern and Boarding House. And I know I told you guys I thought it was built in 1828, but it wasn't. It was built in 1835, so I had the year it was built wrong. So I'll kind of show you over a little bit. I actually went back in the woods already. It was kind of cold this morning, so the grass is real wet. So I added like a, a little video for the back end of it so you guys can see more on the inside. But it, it seems like it grew, the grass has grown a lot just since last weekend, since I was here last weekend. Because I there was one spot back there I didn't think we'd have any problem at all metal detecting. But now we might. So, But we're going to be here all day. I'll kind of show you around. So this is the house. Sorry about the traffic. There's a lot of traffic through here, that's for sure. I found an old photo that wasn't real old. I don't, I'd say like um, 15 or 20 years ago, it didn't look that bad. But like I said, the, the person that owns it now is a developer and he actually just bought it for like investment and i guess they're not on letting develop in the back or something so who knows what they're gonna do with it i don't know if they're gonna sell it and let someone else restore it because i think it's restorable this here looks like it was all added on but this this the reason it was a boarding house because this used to be a town that was a mill town there was like i think three mills here but i'll let you know more about the town itself probably in another video but you know the the mill workers stayed here too but more or less this little town here is just a ghost town but we'll be in the back but like i said if you want to see more of the back just watch the video until the end because i videoed some of it in the back it's kind of overgrown right now plus i got here and there's a car here i don't know whose car this is so i don't know if someone just left it here or someone's staying inside that house or what the hell's going on but and there's also another house over on this side and this house here i think it's like 1970s or something but here let's go back up in here but there was a lot of activity back here so i'm hoping that we'll come across something but like i said you can see how high the grass has grown and i was just here last weekend and it has this little canal back here in the back. I think this is pretty cool. And like I said, maybe they just used it because it was so busy. I have no idea what they used it for. But it's like right, the back door is like right here. I mean, look, I, you got to practically squeeze through here just to get back here. And there's the inside. I don't know if there's somebody staying in there or what. Maybe that, that car out there, maybe someone's hunting for mushrooms or something. I know the guy told me to be careful because of hunters, but I wouldn't think, I don't even think there's anything in right now. I don't think you'd be hunting for anything. Even that door back there is kind of open. That must be to the basement. But you can see, I mean, this is where I was on the go, but actually this was all flat back here last weekend. Now it's all up. That's a cool house. But the, the, there's like a, a rock wall. I was calling it a rock wall in the back, but uh, more research. And um, it's not a it's not a wall. It's actually a building. Because on the other side, I seen a couple more just like it. So it's at, I mean it's old, but it's 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 literally a building. So there was a building back here. Like I said, this was like a real hot area, man. I don't. I'm just hoping it's it's not been metal detected out here. You know, the grass is so high, but I just assume, you know, being out here, someone's already pounded this. So we're going to be back in the bag. But there's so much activity, man. There's got to be something back here. Hell, maybe they had their meals served to them back there or something. Because the other, the, the one grids mill is right down the road, probably maybe like a quarter of a mile. Then I think there's two more up on the other side. But like I said, there'll be more videos coming about this little area and i'll do more research because even the, i said something about a murder in the house and it, and there wasn't a murder in the house the reason i thought that because a long time ago i've been here like 10 years ago i never metal detected but i was here and um i read when i when i read about it it was in a ghost town so it was something about ghost towns and that's where i came up with so maybe i just thought 
since I was reading something about ghost towns that there was a murder, but as far as I know, there wasn't a murder in here. And I think the people that sold it to the developer, one of the girls, I think there was a few daughters, the people that owned it had some daughters. Not the original owners, but the, I think like the second owners or third owners. And um, I think she still lives around here somewhere, but she's got to be like in her 80s or 90s, I would think. But it's pretty cool, guys. So I'll get back to you as soon as I get onto a good signal. Okay, guys, I got a signal here. coming in at 1243 but basically all i'm doing is i'm walking through a field the grass is like real high here this is the second day i was here yesterday for about five hours and i found a couple wheat pennies but i really didn't do that good and i didn't want to give up on the video so i'm back here on sunday so i'm basically walking around because there's got to be something here man i was down at the other end this town actually dates back to 1804 there's just got to be something in here <laughs> I mean, I'm sure people been in, but they ain't metal detected every inch of it. There's no way. And I actually did when I went around where the house is, and that's where I found the wheat pennies. But I didn't find a whole lot. Plus, the grass is so high. It's got to be in that plug. I would say it's in this plug. But this is actually where I'm, what I'm metal detecting, it's just a path. <laughs> Look, a coin. Oh. oh, it's not a coin, it's a ring. Huh. Wasn't expecting that. So a small ring i think it's possible this could be silver because it's probably so old but it's obviously a ring but look how small it is wasn't expecting that like a kid's ring but I, like i said in that house there was a few girls that lived there they had some kids i think they had three or four daughters so maybe one of them was back here playing and dropped it pretty cool but i'm pretty sure that's it that was a signal yeah Best find so far. I did find this old lock, though. Look at this lock. <laughs> so hopefully today our luck's changed. But that's all I'm doing. There's a path that's going through here, and I'm just following the path because I have no choice because it's saying where I can drop the coil. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get onto another good one. Okay, guys, I'm back in these, in this, like I was telling you, I was going down these paths, and all of a sudden I come up on this graveyard. So there's like a big giant hill, and then there's a giant graveyard in here, a real old graveyard. I mean, it looks like there's been people back here doing stuff. There's like little fire pits and stuff. And you can tell someone come back here. It looks like that person died in 1825. It looks like they come back here to do something and then they change their mind. 1824. That's what I told you, man. This town, this, this might be the original graveyard. But it's like on a big hill. I noticed when I was <clears throat> coming through that field, there was like big mounds of dirt. I don't know if they moved stuff down there. Or it might be some of the dirt from where they dug the holes for all these graves. And there's a little kid passed away. That's definitely old, old. That's why I said when you're out metal detecting in old places, this is the kind of stuff you come up on. It's just weird because there was like fire pits all around it down below. So you can see I come in that way. And I don't have any idea. It almost looks like there was a road because there's blacktop, piles of blacktop back here. Maybe there was a road that actually ran back here and they did away with it or something. But it's way up on a hillside. But it looks like someone came back here like there. This is probably like Mark where they've marked graves where they're trying to figure out who's in here. But they probably just did it. Then just, then just quit, you know, figure it was too much work and quit. 
see even these you can tell someone's redone those they stuck those those metal racks by them to hold them up that's what that guy was doing yesterday had was parked out there he was actually looking for mushrooms is what he was doing because he ended up coming out of there see how there's like these little fire pits there's a fire pit right there so i don't know if people are back here partying or what what's going on then they piled these little rocks something like blair witch or something someone stuck this here just a little fail it almost looks real doesn't it it's like man who would stick something of real silver out here pretty cool i'll probably go around the outside of this because it looks like there's a bridge down here like there's a wood bridge down here while i was talking to that dude he said something about there was a bunch of tree stands and stuff like people were hunting but a lot of times um property they'll lease it to hunt so hopefully we're not out of the bound the boundaries i wouldn't think so because this is a, a graveyard they ain't gonna say nothing to me about being here i know the guy told me i'd come across the road not to go on the other side of the road but i haven't came across any road so i'll get back to you guys as soon as i get onto a good signal okay guys i'm onto a signal so what am i doing is the graveyard's up on this hillside and that for some reason the grass is mowed around here there's actually some signs that says historical grave or cemetery there's a bridge back there it's all it's just weird how it's set up i don't know if they have like tours through here or something it's just weird even the bridge because on the one side that must be the property they told me about there's some trespassing signs so i'm basically going around the hillside the bottom of the hillside and the reason i'm doing that is because anytime i see a hill even in a graveyard when i was a kid we used to go to this old graveyard we used to sled ride down the hills and that's why i'm thinking of going around the outside like this so let's see what this is so far all i found is a quarter And uh, it was a 1994 quarter. It's nice back here, though. But like I said, I, my options are real low because everything's so growed, man. Just from in a week, man. It's like the weeds growed so fast in a week. But this could be a pop cap, too. Gosh, if it's a large son I mean it's a huge if it's a coin man it's fucking huge I think it's a coin it's a it's got to be a coin look how thick that coin is but I don't have any idea but like I said, this place dates back to 1804. Unless it's some kind of slugger, I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to try to figure out, but look how thick it is. So I don't know, I might have to look up. But there's like little grooves in it too. I don't know what it is. See, there's grooves in both sides of it. it must be, I don't know. <laughs> it's cool looking. Look how thick it is. I don't have any idea. So I'll get back to you guys as soon as I get on another good signal. Okay, guys, I'm walking back out of here where the graveyard is. And I, I'm sure you guys will be able to see us on the camera, even though it's on my head. But this is what I'm talking about. It's like these little hills are all through here. I mean, everywhere. There's like little hills. It's just unreal. I don't know why this stuff's like this. I don't have a clue. I kept thinking maybe it's a dump or something, but it's like it's just hills everywhere. There's little tiny hills. And it's like a whole field of them. So I don't have any idea how why it's like this. And that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe it's a dump. At first I thought maybe it was from those graves, but that's it's, it's a ways from the graveyard. I mean the graveyard 
it's like up on that hill i don't know if you guys can see it but it's up on that hill but look at this it's just little tiny hills all the way through here a field of hills is all it is i don't I don't make any sense that's the only thing i can think of it's a dump there's no way they would have carried all that dirt from all the way up there plus this would be a lot of graves pretty cool though okay guys i'm gonna do a signal it's not a great one <laughs> if i can get into it A lot of this ground's like this, man. It's like rocks. It's probably trash. See how all the rocks. Huh. Imagine that. It's just a memorial penny. Yeah, I'm kind of well. You can see what I'm dealing with, man. Look how high everything is. It's extremely hard metal detect. Even back here where that graveyard, man. If I could find where the old road was, I think I'd have better luck back here around the outside of it. But now we're getting closer. We're basically behind the house now. There's like a little bridge over here. I thought about going down the, the creek, but it's, like I said, it's at like Flint Bottom. There's nothing really on it. And see, there's a dam up upstream. And at one time, well, you can tell, man, at one time, I bet you there was at least five or six foot of water in there until they built that dam. So that's probably why it's in here. They could use it. You know, they traveled that's how they travel through here and bring stuff to this boarding house or whatever you know the mill ain't even that far down they might have came through this way into the main spillway then over to the 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 mill because this is this even this bridge is old i mean you can tell it's made out of rock but there ain't nothing down there it's just smooth it's cool looking but this was all water at one time until they built that dam i don't know how old that dam is it's not because even in here where this post is there that's literally a light they literally had a light on here so there must have been traffic through here too well i'll get back to you guys if i get onto another signal okay guys we're calling it a day yeah so basically we got probably about nine hours into this place <laughs> that's how much work it's been done here because i was here about five hours yesterday but i mean the grass is really too high to metal detect but i did everything i could in the back i just go down along the paths and stuff then out here it was just a bear but i bear i metal detect most of this out here i just think it was metal detected before so i'll go over and show you our finds so this is what we found today i don't think we dug a lot of junk and this is two days not just one day most of these square nails i dug today while i was going down along that walkway we found we just dug this old knife I found this lock. This here was way down in there too, some kind of handle, old handle. We dug a little bit of clad, and I, and I have no idea what this is. I thought this was some kind of weird coin. Look how thick it is, but I don't know what it is. It's got holes in it though. We dug two wheat pennies. We dug this ring. This ring's possible that it could be silver. If you look at it, it's real black. It's obviously a kid's ring, or it could be a woman's ring, I guess. It's small but i think it's probably silver so this it's i can't bend it real easy and it's black as shit but where it was sitting at it could have just been from the water so i'll have to clean this up i'm pretty sure that's a silver ring then we got this key here so this key is either to a jewelry box a, a pocket watch or a clock but that's what it is and this was way down i found this over by the tree so it's basically a clock winding key pretty cool then we found this knife. I found this knife yesterday. Actually, it's a pretty nice knife. If I can get it out of there. Look at that. 
USA, made in USA, but it's one of the ones that are real sharp, stainless steel knife. But it was just laying back here on the ground. I don't know if that guy dropped it yesterday. It was back here looking for mushrooms or what. I don't know what this is. It's almost like a like a scuba diver's watch. I don't even know what's in it. Maybe there's something else inside here. I don't know. Some kind of survival knife. But let's go over here. I wanted to show you guys this. Because like I was telling you guys, I'm allergic to bees. I didn't even notice this either. That dude, when he, I ran into him yesterday, he's the one that pointed it out. And I was in here metal detecting too. But I went over this pretty good. Pushed down on it. I don't want to get too close and get stung. But that's a honey's nest inside that, man. I bet there's millions of bees in there. When I was over here yesterday, more I couldn't even really tell it was there, but it's huge. That's a big nest. You can see all the bees flying around. Plus there's all these little flowers in here and all these flowers over here. But this still is a cool looking house, how the vines are all grow. It's kind of spooky looking, but that's more or less what this is, video is gonna be about anyways, because this is actually a ghost town, but it's pretty spooky. There's no way I was going inside, fall through a floor or something, get hurt. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as far as the drone, I brought the drone with me. But if you look over here with all the wiring, there was no way I could fly it. But when I do use the drone, there'll be a little drone in the corner of the thumbnail and you'll know it. Plus, I'll probably say something when I first do it. But I got it down. It's just I don't want to fly it. It's an expensive drone and I don't want to crash it. And I said not to fly it around power lines. So I was just on it, fly it straight up and just video around the, the top of the house. But I, I'm just, I just don't want to tear it up, basically. I don't want to break because it was expensive. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to th give me a thumbs up. Jungle fires were burning down the track. Came a hobo hummer. He said, Boys, I'm not returning. Headed for a land that's far away, beside the crystal fountain. I see you all this coming fall at the big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain, there's a land that's fair and bright. Where the handouts grow on bushes and you sleep out every night. Where the boxcars all are empty and the sun shines every day. Oh, the birds, the bees, and the cigarette trees, the whiskey springs, and the bluebird sings in the big rock candy mountain. In the big rock candy mountain. All the cops have a wooden legs And the bulldogs all have rubber teeth And the hens lay soft boiled eggs And the farmer's trees are full of fruit And the barns are full of hay